Good morning from Yad. I have headache, so I take a well, pillow. This is, this is our medical kit. Yeah, for, Elia prepare every trip. This is for hand baggage. Uh, otherwise, I have all other medicine. Uh, we have really a lot in the, my big baggage. We are always equipped uh, of course. with medicine in our travels because you never know what can happen for headache or a fever or other things. Also more when we have, have Kaira. Absolutely, with Kaira we have all the medicine uh, for her because she must be all as well. And this is our room, this is a traditional hotel and I really, I'm really, i really happy we slept in another traditional hotel. The best thing is the roof that has this colored window and it's really cool. This is the door that you can look really strange because you close over here. This is the toilet. This is the toilet. Nothing special, but it's okay for us. And the most beautiful thing of this hotel is the interior decor that is really amazing. And now we will have breakfast because today we have a really nice excursion. We are going to visit a really, really old castle and a kind of abandoned um, mud town, something like this. I will explain you better later, so Elia will explain better. And here we have our breakfast. It's a fountain. And I really love these places where you can just sit and stay. So guys, see you later when we will go on this excursion. Hello world! So today we take a tour to go to the uh, castle of uh, Narin Gale. I hope that this is uh, the pronunciation. And uh, this is a castle made by uh, Mad. Then we go to uh, to see a uh, beautiful old uh, village that nobody lives there. Abandoned village, yeah. The village is from uh, 2000 years ago. And it's at Madons in this village? Yeah. And uh, I have to say that I'm really, really tired. I have headache. In this, in this uh, travel, I feel a lot of time not so good. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm really tired. And, uh, but it's okay. The show must go on, we can go away and, and that's all. And we're up to the castle, this is the entrance. Wow! It's everything made by mud. Wow! What is here? Where should be the map? And this is the Kohandis of Narin Kaleh. It was an ancient city. Wow. Okay, there should be the entrance. We came here up, we climb a little bit to have a better view to make pictures. And it's very cool. Here you can see how they made this they put this uh, under the sun that get dry and then they use other mud to let's say put together this and this is a kind of tower <laughs> and this is really old it's something like 4000 years six earlier 6000 years this place is 6000 years old and it's Unbelievable. We will enter. The entrance is not uh, so expensive. It's something like one euro or something like this. This is the entrance to the castle. Wow, I love this thing. This tower, these walls, everything may be mud. Also here you can see how are made these bricks. 
these are bricks made by mud. It means mud, water, and also straw, I think. And they leave it dry on, under the sun. And they use other mud to glue it together. Here in the middle, you can see. Here maybe it's better. Do you see? This is the mud they use to glue these bricks together. Wow, here's the view on the city, wow. Amazing, here you can see this straw, pieces of straw, wow. Kira is going forward alone. <laughs> She's an explorer. She's like her parents. <laughs> there you can see the hag wall. It's so real, this place. Beautiful. And there is the castle. This is all around the castle. A kind of tower. came to the highest part of the castle. This is the castle and you have an amazing view to the town and I can't believe, if I'm not wrong, it seems that that mosque is made by mud. I see the colors it can be, but I'm not sure of course. And the view is really amazing. Okay, now slowly we will go to the next destination. We stop near the castle, this is another place. It's uh, an old uh, caravan shrine, I don't know how is the name in English. It's a place where once uh, people who commerce between, let's say, Asia, Middle East and Europe, I don't know how to say, they uh, stop here to sell things. And now you have this kind of very nice shops. And there behind they use that place for the storage of water because here is really important because this area is really dry. And they take water as you can see here. It's come here. What's your name? Kera. And here is water. Yeah. Comes from the mountain. <laughs> and Kera is speaking with the other kids. <laughs> Another place here around this building that you can see over here was the use for kitchen. This, I don't know if you will see anything. Yeah, maybe yes, something. And it's very interesting. Here were pigeons, and they use them to send messages. Uh, they use their shit, I don't know how to say, to fertilize the ground, gardens, and also because uh, they put sometimes also here chicken eggs, and because chicken are not always on their eggs, and uh, pigeon, yes, and they use them to care about chicken eggs. It's very interesting and it's very nice, this place. Maybe put here their, their shit, I don't know how to say. <laughs> I have to keep Tina with me because Hera is uh, running around here. <laughs> it's very cool this place. And here you have also stairs to go to the upper floor. Oh my god, they're so big these stairs. Very difficult to walk over here. Okay, we can here. Uh, 
and maybe here you go outside on the roof yeah you go on the roof wow and this is the roof Let's go forward. We stop in another in another point where is a temple in a cave and we have to walk some stairs but here is the view and I love this Iranian mountains uh, in the middle of the desert and it's very cool. This is Celia Woodcare and we are going up. We came to the shrine. This is the entrance, very cool, but what is interesting in this message? Of course you have remove shoes, you have cover your hair, but ladies should avoid entering during menstruation. Okay, so I can enter. Here is some water dropping from the floor and, and this is uh, the part where they uh, put candle setting. And we came to the last stop here of our tour and the most interesting for us, someone fell asleep. And the name of this village is Taranakke with a kind of at yeah, the end, but Haranaka, something like this. And this is uh, 2000 years old, earlier, abandoned village. And now we will go to visit. We are in, and I think they rebuilt this road for tourists, but this uh, should be this old buildings abandoned. Wow. Well, It's really interesting. These are these old houses built by um, mud. I think you can lose in this, in the middle of this kind of not streets, but roads. Wow. Oh, so here. Wow. It's crazy. And the other part, there are people live. It's just a quarter, just a part that is abandoned of this village. I think that they rebuilt some parts to keep for tourists. Like this. Because I don't think that um, this is 2,000 years old without any maintenance. It's a labyrinth. I worry that we will fall. <laughs> this should be a kitchen, I think, because as you can see, is everything black here, and there is also a hole. And here they cook. There maybe was a kind of place for the fire. This is to the dining room, living room, something like this. Wow, so strange this place. I like such a things that are abandoned, uh, old, uh, where you feel out of this world. This is a kind of first floor. 
because I'm there early in Kira. And I want to go to see what here. Well, it's difficult to move here so because I have my backpack and uh, oh my god, my backpack. Wow. Here you can see all the that of course I think is new maybe they rebuilt because once it was something similar and that is a part where people live wow see all these roofs are let's say broken because nobody lives it's really interesting here is something that goes under the level as you can see here and it's interesting how uh, 2000 years ago they built this uh, kind of tunnels to protect by the sun. And I think it was quite difficult. Very, very cool. Oh, they rebuilt these towers we saw before. Here you can see this tower. This maybe was the main square or something like this of the village, I imagine. Maybe this is the most beautiful part, I think, because here you have a view on some roofs and at the back there you have a mosque and all these mountains that we saw during all the travel is really, really cool. Wow. To have a house here with such a view is really amazing. <laughs> 